Hey everybody, Sentai5 here, and welcome to my review of the Kumano Slayer Venomic Shooter and Action Hero Spider Kumano's figure. So let's get into it by looking at the package for the combo set. Here is a look at the package of the action hero. Now let's open it up. Now let's open the combo set. Okay, let's take a look at the Kumano Slayer first. Ironically, it fits pretty well with the Dragon Dagger stand from the Lightning Collection. The lights are in the spider eyes, and that's the only place where there's really lights on it. The blade is really nice, I like that they have the scratch paint look that continues from the Shoe Gods. It runs on LR44 batteries, so let's take out the tab to turn it on. Here are the Kuminos keys in the key holder. You just have to flip the switch up and it unlocks them. The keys are really nice in the front, and as you can see, they're obviously using the same key teeth as the Ranger keys, and we're going to test that out later in this video. If you want to jump ahead, you can just skip to the chapter. I don't really like how they're hollow on the back, and that's just been a regular Bandai thing in all of its toy lines in the last few years. So let's go through the sounds. We're gonna do the change key first. Next up is the Shoe God key.
And finally we have the Venomix key, which doesn't really do much in this. Next, let's move on to the Venomix Shooter, and I really like this a lot. It's such a cool, unique design. It's just a bug spray gun, and it works really, really well in concept. No lights on this at all, just sounds, and the speaker is on the bottom. It also uses LR44 batteries, so there's no on and off switch. You just have to pull out the tab to turn it on. So let's do that and check out the sounds. We're gonna start off with the Venomix key because it actually works with the Venomix shooter. Next is the change key, which will activate the Tarantula Knight sound.
finally we have the Shoe God key to activate the Cicada Blade and Peed Saw. Okay, moving on to the Ranger Keys, since they're obviously very similar, but still different at the same time. The Ranger Keys do not work in the Kumano Slayer at all, like, it, it doesn't even fit into the lock. Which is a shame, because I really would have loved that, just to have it for fun, really. The Ranger Keys do fit into the Venomix Shooter, but they don't turn, unfortunately. There's no way to do it. And here's a nice surprise with the Kuminos keys fitting into the Mobirates. And finally, let's move on to the Action Hero Spider Kuminos figure. We're gonna take a look at it 360, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I think this is like the best figure they've done in the last few years for this line, and it really shows, especially with the gold paint, how it really pops out, and then just the design overall. Articulation is as standard as it's ever gonna be for the Action Hero and Change Hero figures from the past few years. Head rotates 360 and moves up and down. Arms can rotate all around and move in and out. They bend at the elbow and rotate at the bicep, as well as rotating at the wrist. The coattail on the back can move up. Rotation at the waist 360. Legs can move forwards and backwards. Bend at the knee, rotate at the thigh, 360, as well as rotate at the feet, 360. It also comes with the Kumano Slayer and the Venomix Shooter, can be held in either hand. And it's just, it's really great for posing for a basic figure, you know. I think this one is really one you'd want to get. And it's definitely going to hold me over until the Yudo set comes out later in the fall. So, some final thoughts. Um, they're both really, really tiny, and honestly... It's kind of a shame because in the last few years, the deluxe items have been a pretty decent size. They haven't been small in the last few years, but it looks like we went back to the normal, you know, really tiny kid sized roleplay items. And it really shows for the Kumano Slayer and especially the Venomix Shooter because it is insanely tiny, even though it's such a cool design. They have a decent amount of sounds for what they can do, but it's just a shame that these two don't really interact with each other. Uh, it would have been cool if they had an infrared sensor like the Don Brothers roleplay items did. I think they did a pretty good job with that. It would have been perfect for this set actually. Or if they had some kind of combined mode as well because it really leaves a lot more to be desired. And the whole Ranger Key deal, you know, you're using the same teeth as the Ranger Keys but you can't have the Ranger Keys work in either one like that. It's kind of weird because it doesn't really hurt anybody in my opinion. So. 
it would have been cool to have those two lines really interact with each other in an ironic way. But I'm glad that the spider Kuminos keys can turn and activate sounds in the Mobirates, but I wouldn't advise doing that too much because when I did it, I did it by an accident by applying a little bit of pressure onto it. And you can't really hear it in the video, but it does make a crunching sound. So luckily nothing inside with the electronics got messed up after I tried a normal Ranger key on it. I wouldn't try my luck too much on that because I think maybe over time, something could get damaged or even the spider keys could break maybe because they're not really the best quality of plastic so that's just a few things to consider the action hero i absolutely recommend i think it's an absolute great representation of it for a basic figure i don't know if i can recommend the kumino slayer or the venomic shooter like that i think you're just gonna really have to try and see if you like it but I do prefer the Venomic Shooter out of the two roleplay items for sure. Just wish it was bigger. And honestly, going by the rate at how Sentai roleplay items end up being released in the Memorial Edition, maybe wait on this and we might get a Memorial in like a year or two with possibly more sounds or such. But I don't know. Like I said, you're just probably going to have to really come down to a decision on your own. Or honestly, wait for a sale because these are definitely not worth what you have to pay for, for sure. But that's about it for this review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, be well, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.